Hello, welcome to my Arduino tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to make this beautiful self-opening door using Arduino. So let's first see the components that we're going to use. You can see that we have the servo motor, the servo, and we have a PIR sensor. If you see on the physical what, what we have, we have the PIR, which is this one. Right here, we have the Arduino Uno, a breadboard, and inside here, I have my servo installed for opening the door. So, a servo is a rotary actuator or linear actuator that allows for precise control of angular or linear position, velocity, and acceleration. So, we're talking about this guy, which means it can rotate, which is why we're going to use it as the door. So now we have the PIR, which is a passive infrared sensor that measures infrared light radiation from objects in its area field of view, which means if something is moving near this PIR, the PIR gets it, receives that signal. So the PIR can be used in different projects, including this one that we are going to make. You can see that on this prototype, if you try to move along, the door gets opened. If no movement is happening, the door is closed. So that's what we are going to do. Now, let's see how we hook up the circuits. We will take the VCC on the servo and put it on the VCC on the Arduino. We will also take the GND, which is the ground, and put it on the ground maybe 5 volt on the ground GND and we're gonna take the digital pin of the solver and put it into D4 on the Arduino now here we we'll also take the VCC and put it in 5 volt and we we'll also take the ground and put it into the ground on the Arduino and also we're going to take the digital pin and put it into D2 so now let's go to the code now before we start coding you need to make sure that you have the solver motor library included into your files then after include it using include servo.h now the next thing to do is to declare our solver which is important because it's going to be acting like the door in our system so we're going to say int sorry we're going to say int solver pin and remember we say that we're going to put this into digital pin 4 on the arduino and then we're going to say servo this is more like to define what our server is doing it's a servo but it's a door and then this is everything we need to get started with our servo which acts like the door now I'm gonna go ahead and declare this PIR I'm gonna say int PIR pin and remember we put it into D2 which is digital pin 2 and we need a variable called val which is going to hold everything that is read from the PIR. So I'm going to say zero because we need it to start looking like it detected nothing. So now into the void setup, we need to show that the pin, or maybe to define that the pin of the PIR is an output, an input, because it's a sensor. So we're going to say, we're going to define that like pin mode using the function pin mode and then go ahead and say that PIR pin is an input alright is an input and then for the server it's kind of different we you we're gonna take this server that we declared right here and attach it to the pin of the server we're gonna say door dot attach and then we're gonna attach it to the servo pin all right 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and start with our servo closed. So according to how I built my prototype, I know that for my, for my door to be closed, it is a 90 degrees and it's zero when it's opened. So I'm gonna go ahead and say and open and close the door by saying door dot right, which means to close my door on this prototype, I need my server to be on to the 90 degree angle. All right. I think that's everything for the void setup. Now we're going to go here. Remember, the purpose of this tutorial is to make this door open itself whenever it sees a movement around it. You know, you know, like shops when you try to get into shop and you see the door opening itself. That's what we're kind of trying to do. So I'm going to say now, first, I'm going to read from this PIR to know if it detected someone or not. So we're going to say that by taking the val variable that we declared and assign it to the readings from the PIR. I'm going to say digital read and then read the pin of the PIR, all right, which is PIR pin like that. Now, the next thing to do is to condition and know what kind of variable we have from the PIR. So I'm going to use if condition and say if PIR, I mean if val, because it holds the readings from the PIR high is equal to high, is equal to high. Now I'm going to assume that something is detected and then open the door. So we open the door by using door.write. And because I know that my door is opened when it's on zero degree. So I'm going to say door.write and then put it to zero. This time I know that it is open according to how I built my prototype. And then else, when it's low, I'm going to say door dot right and then make it 90. Now it's closed. And then right after the brace that closes the void loop, I'm going to delay 250 milliseconds. So I think that's it. The next thing to do is to go ahead and check if my Arduino Uno is connected right here and then hit upload. We got something wrong. Yes, I need to put it capital D. Upload again. Now you can see that it's done uploading. I'm going to put this pin, this ground pin where I found it. Now you can see that it's open and closed. If I try to move along, you can see that it's going to open. And if I leave, it's closed. Thanks. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you feel like you like everything that I do right here, please consider adding a like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.